Hey, what's happening guys? Today, we're going to take a look at this little module here. This is a uh, 30 volt, 30 watt constant current electronic load module that I bought from uh, AliExpress. So let's take a look at the, uh, the listing here. Whoop. Let me brighten that up for you a little bit. There we go. Okay. So again, this is from AliExpress. I paid a $18.96 for it. I'll put a link to it down below. Uh, I bought it on January 4th. It arrived today, January 17th. So about two weeks to get here. Now I also bought a case for it. And uh, apparently the case is not going to be here for like a month. So that's not a... Uh, Super great. We'll come down here and take a look at some of the specs. Supply voltage, 6 to 30 volts. Measuring voltage, 0 to 30. Discharge current, 0 to 5 amps. Discharge power, up to 30 watts. Do not use super power. Okay? I will not use my x-ray vision on it. Working temperature, 10 to 75 degrees. Resolution of voltage, 0 0.1 volts at 10 millivolts. Or 1 milliamp. Accuracy of voltage, 1% plus 1 word. One word, I mean, least significant digit maybe. Under voltage, over voltage, overheat, anti-reverse wiring method, which is a little odd. Small screen printing B plus B minus for measuring voltage. Large screen printing B plus B minus for measuring current. Has a double roller fan at 8,000 ripums, and there's the size, length, and the weight. Has a couple different interface screens. We'll take a look at all of them. But here is uh, the wiring to the best of my ability to figure it out. Come on. Okay, so it looks like we do a plus and minus to the negative side and another plus and minus to the positive side. So, in that vein, I have a uh, four cell uh, all in ser series uh, lipo pack here, lithium polymer. These are 18650s. They don't have much life on them, so there should be a, somewhere in the high 15 volt range, I'm guessing. We'll find out here in one second. All right. I have these around for testing, I don't use them for much of anything. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, 15.93. They're almost completely charged, so that's good. We'll be able to have a little bit of fun with that. And there is the uh, the connections for that. And then we have power connections over here. And it says it can be powered with, what, 6 to 30 volts powered up through the uh, bench power supply here. I've got it at 9.5 volts. Let me plug that in there and take a look here I know it's not very bright up there in the red which you can barely see it's showing current and we have voltage here amp hours watt hours this R 0 MR is uh, internal resistance of the battery power and temperature P1, nothing, P2. Okay, so that gives us like a running screen. Takes us to that screen. Set, okay, so this is where we can set our under voltage, our over power, and our current. So, let me get everything hooked up and uh, we'll take a look at her. All right, let's start off by talking about poor design decisions. Having this fan on here like this means that I can't get a screwdriver into these rising block clamps to put my wires in there so the fan has to be removed to put the wires in not a great choice they could have used a different connector 
Um, but it is what it is. All right, got it hooked up and I've got the wires in. So if we go to set, we have our current set at two amps. Our low voltage. So we've got uh, four 18650s at a minimum voltage of 3.2. So 3 times 4 is 12, 2 times 4 is 8, so 12.8. So if we set this, our minimum voltage at 12.8. There we go. Focus. And we'll leave our over power protection at 25 watts. So far, so good. We'll go back to page one. Maybe. Page two. I don't know. Page one. Set. Set. There we go. We're back to page one. And I will plug in the power connectors for our battery power here Here's the black and come on all right there's the red and now you can see we have 15.89 volts go to page two And how do we start it? There we go. So we are drawing one amp. And it killed it. Why did it kill it? Fourteen point six five watts. I'm confused. I'm gonna have to look at the instructions again. Hold on. I'm gonna take the current down to one amp. And now if I press the encoder switch, there we go. So now we're working. So now it's putting the load on the battery. Let's see what happens if we go back to page one. working so it shows the switch is open okay switch is closed there we go we got one amp 14 volts 14.65 uh, watts there's our temperature and it's even telling us the internal resistance of the battery and then we can switch between the two pages so that's looking pretty cool I just heard the fan come on. I'm sure you guys can hear it too. Now let's see, can we change the settings while we're in it? Yes. So now we're down to 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. There's a half an amp. Oh, it looks like it stopped it. So if you change the settings, it's going to stop it. There we go, half an amp, 7.6 watts. Yeah, looking pretty cool. So I think it is a nice little module. It'll be a nice addition to the bench. Um, for a constant current load, I don't think $20 is too bad at all. I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to everybody that watches. Don't forget, I'll put a link to this down below. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate the support of everybody who donates via Patreon or PayPal. And another way to help out the channel is to buy things from the Amazon store. There's a link down below. It doesn't cost you anything, and I make a few pennies. We have some fun here, so please feel free to comment on any video. Your comments are always welcome, and you can email me at arduino0169 at gmail.com.